Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to graph this absolute value, uh, absolute value in equation. Um, and what I have over here is a couple things, the transformation equations, where we can identify what the transformation is, as well as kind of what the parent graph, our parent graph looks like, as well as the table for the parent graph. And so you can see that the vertex is going to be where the graph is going to change directions. And you can see that by the table of values, it's symmetric about the y-axis over here. So in this equation, what I have is y equals the absolute value of x plus 7. Now, notice that when we have that number outside k, what that does is that takes our vertex, which is previously at 0, 0, and now it shifts it up to a y value of 7. And notice that the h is going to shift the graph left to right, but we don't have any h inside here. We have actually our parent graph. So basically, y equals absolute value of x plus 7 is basically this graph, but with a new vertex of not 0, 0, but 0, 7, meaning my graph is now being shifted up 7 units. So what I'll basically do is I'll go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Instead of being at 0, 0, it's now at 0, 7, because that's what the k does. So now my vertex is at 0, 7, but my graph has not been compressed or stretched at all. So notice how the relationship of the points, over 1, up 1, over 2, up 2. And I can just follow that pattern for this graph. Over 1, 1, 2, 3. Over 1, up 1. Over 2, up 2. Over 1, up 1. Over 2, up 2. And you can see here, now I have my graph. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph an absolute value equation. Thanks.